Welcome back, everybody. I'm Stan. And I'm Art. And we're in the basement. No, he's a he's a great doctor. At least he plays one on TV. Yeah. I, you know, what? I'm surprised you're. I guess yellow and blue, but I like for not being able to see reds and greens. It, I figured you'd have a little more trouble with distinguishing. But definitely oh, not. Fuck. I don't think I'm gonna make it on this try. You jacked it up. Did. But it'll get better. For someone who hasn't played it so long, you have a natural affinity for it. Back to you. you feel it in your bones. But like I told him earlier, I was like, I I was okay at this, but uh, Tetris was the one I was I always enjoyed a lot more. No, I, I shouldn't say I enjoyed it a lot more. I was better at it. I liked this one a lot. But Tetris had just the having more choices, and also having a straight line. Like, this is more trying to just match up, or match a few. Which, also another game is Poyo Poyo. Playing that on the Switch. This one, rather than this match with Tetris. I am not as good as I would expect to be at it. Because it, you, you're more going for chains. And like with Tetris, you can kind of fit them in there, and like you, you can make chains from it, but it's not really... The focus. And with this is entirely the focus. We're trying to get multiple ones just to drop down and go in places. I don't know. Maybe I'm rambling, but I'm here a lot of ramble. So this one time back in '93 when oh never mind. Really Actually, something did happen in '93. So okay, I will ramble. Side note. Uh, ah, Mark story. <laughs> there in Missouri in 1993, there was a ice storm. And it knocked out the power for about... Well, we live in the country. So it knocked out the power for about, like, a week. And we all had water beds, because we just liked them. And they got extremely cold if there was no power. So we got a generator, and we hooked it up, and we had warm beds. And also a refrigerator. So it was nice. But we had uh, extension cords running through our front door. And when it was uh, super cold outside, it's really nothing compared to up here. But it was about oh, like 10 degrees most of the time. Super cold! 10 degrees. <laughs> yeah, up here that's actually kind of a warm spell. But that that whole time frame it was just like it was beautiful to see because you just go outside and there's just ice over everything and that's that's what caused the power outage was uh, a tree went down and it snapped the power lines in multiple places a tree didn't snap one but multiple trees snapped power lines and it was there was one point where it was like they were down the road but more more so there were trees down the road and that's what we encountered a lot we lived enough in the country where it was difficult to get to work and get on about I was in the time frame where I wanted to play video games and at work where I went there like I was World War Park time there and they would have me come and clean stuff and do things but I could play games otherwise and I would sit down there and play that and just you know kill time down there but then when we went to go home I didn't want to go home because you know couldn't do anything there then uh, but I think we could watch TV I think we didn't finally get that working again but I remember a previous, I think like a couple years before that, there was a ice storm and they called off school and I stayed at my cousin's place and we played Donkey Kong Country. And that's what they ended up going out and they went sliding or sledding or whatever you call it up here. Where they, except they were pulled behind a, uh, I forget what it was, kind of like an eight, all train vehicle type thing, except it, was, it wasn't a four wheeler, but it was like a. Wheeler? No, it was. Pug? It was a gator, is what it was called. It was like a. Like John a Deere. Pit. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of like it's a it's a work. Yeah. ATV basically. It's got okay. a dump bed on it. I know yeah. what you're talking about. That was it. But yeah, they went out in that and they pulled around an inner tube on the side of a hill. They, were, they went out and did that, and I stayed inside and played Donkey Kong because <laughs> I didn't really want to go out there. And, flopping in the snow. We're gonna go play in the snow, it's awesome! Mark was a kid, much like myself, 
Nah, I'll stay inside and play video games. Yep. And they went out and did that, and I, I got... I beat Donkey Kong Country that day. I rented it at the time. And then I later bought it, but... Uh, there's, there's just something redeeming about beating the game. Yeah. It's, it was... Especially when you're at that age. Like, now that I'm an adult, yeah, it's nice to beat a game, but... It's... It's different now. Like, back then it was more of like, wow, I actually did it. Like, I feel accomplished for myself. Now it's, oh, I did it. I don't feel so sad for myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's true, true. Truth to that. But, I mean, you'd think that we'd get better with age because we've played them so long, but it's more of that we haven't played them for so long. Like, we had a, I believe it's the same where we had a spell where we just stopped playing. Like, I... I'm now kind of re researching and getting into playing video games again, but for a long span... As am I. Right. Yeah, for a long span I would... I'd play games, but they wouldn't be necessarily the most skill-based. Like, they're, like... I, I'm big into adventure games where it's, it really doesn't matter how good you are at the game, you're going to get through it one way or the other. Right. Like, it has, it has some level of difficulty, but it's just more repeating it. There I, uh... I just tend to play just easy games, I'll be honest. I, I, I mean, I play strategy games, and strategy games are difficult, but... Mm -hmm. Well, like, for the longest time I played, like, uh, World of Warcraft. It's, like, it requires skill, but it's not the same type of skill. And things like StarCraft, which also is a strategy game, which requires skill. Nice, you did it! Are you ready? Yeah. Level 21! Onward and upward! Alright. But, uh, yeah, I played games like that that were, they were different. They required skill, but it was more of just knowing your opponent. I guess I played a lot of multiplayer games. And it went away from single player games. Now I'm going back to the single player ones. Which, single player ones now are, like, you have quick saves. That's something that I abuse. Like, oh, fuck. Fucked up. Oh! Right off the bat. Up. You can save it, though. I can. Right here. Oh, yeah, you can save it actually faster than expected. Can you do it? Yeah! Except for now, I got a mess to clean up. But... Now you're still kind of jacked up, but it's not so bad. This is a better mess to have than the previous mess, so. You gotta think when you're playing this, you're like a, a doctor's assistant, and you're just like, he's like, here, take this pill, put it there. Or hey, take this drug, we'll swap it there. Like, this doesn't make sense. Make it fit, make it work. <laughs> you're not gonna kill him, they're already dead. Well, you're working in a, in a tube here, in a bottle. I'm assuming that you're just working in a lab. Yeah, you're just like, trying to cure. You're making cures for diseases in a laboratory. <laughs> What you gotta think too is like, who says these are bad bacteria? Maybe you're you know, killing something that could save lives. You never know. You're trying to create the new anthrax. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing with music and games. It's like I, I wasn't really a big like connoisseur of music. Like some people will say that, oh hey, that's from this game or this game or this game. Where I remember some of them, like Super Mario World is my big one for stuff. Like this is another one where I can pretty much recite it without hearing it. And Tetris is one where I, I hear it, but I don't know it until I do, and then I'm like, oh yeah, it's Tetris. You don't know Tetris right off the bat? I don't actually. Do, 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 do. I played Tetris and Pac-Man a lot in a restaurant that we went to. Ah! So, that's why I didn't really get the... The good music. old arcade experience. Yeah, well, this was this was actually a bar slash restaurant. Well, right, we, we but to, it was yeah. an arcade game. It was in the back room, and my parents would go there and eat, and while they were eating, I'd just be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go play this. And i just kind of disappear, and I'd come back to eat, and then i go disappear again. And I would spend a long time, and it wasn't too expensive, because it was a quarter for each play, and that was at a time where they were pretty plentiful. Like, it wasn't... You were right. in the midst of a recession? Yeah. I mean, like, you could spend $20 and be fine. Which, actually, no, it was less. They spent about $10 each time, I think, when I went there. I, especially with Tetris, that lasted me a long time. Tetris was a weird, weird thing to have in the arcade because of that. Yeah. 
it, this this was not necessarily this had those two machines like well right i'm not i'm not saying that you were at an arcade but they made a tetris console <laughs> for the arcade yeah which is kind of weird because tetris isn't exactly a game that just yeah it's not a one eater yeah it's it just racking you in box but these were tables that like two player type games and yep, it was just yep. one or two However, I did go to Godfather's Pizza and they had ah, that. Godfather's. Yeah. And that is one where they had many arcade games and I played them. And one was Turtles in Time. Turtles in Time. Uh, the one up here they had at, at Godfather's in Virginia, Minnesota, they had the X-Men oh, yeah, okay. four-player game. I remember playing that. They I'm just, I, I know this, this nobody's going to hear this, but I'm going to throw this out that you can share it, Mark. Mm -hmm. If you guys are ever like, what am I? Oh, yeah, if, not that you guys have to give me a Christmas present because you don't. But if you're ever debating over what to get me for Christmas, get everybody to chip in and get me one of those four-player arcade games, the <laughs> cabinets. Yeah. I'll th I don't I'll throw the freezer outside. I don't care. <laughs> right, because it's like, what the hell's this? It's like, this is our new freezer. We we don't freeze anything in it. We just play games on it. Sided against a freezer, honey. <laughs> and then she's like. Well, it's getting a good axe. She literally grabs an axe. Uh, and it's more like that she'd just throw me out on the street. <laughs> no, she'd let you have it, but she'd... She wouldn't be pleased with me. She would not, yeah. You, you can hey, be watch this. Bam! Oh, nice. I don't know why I thought that was cool. It wasn't that cool. I figured you'd sneak that one underneath. I thought about it. The but... other one, I mean, but yeah. See, I'm trying to play simple since mm -hmm. you want to continue so far. Yeah, I'd like to make it all the way through this shit. Level 308. How actually far does it go past 25? Level? Okay. There are 25 levels. I suppose it can only go so far without just filling the screen and making it impossible. Um. That, that guy is just, you know, he's a madman just chucking pills. He's like, I don't care. Stuff him down the throat. Stuff him down the bottle. Just pack him in there. Virus. Thought it was neither the virus would disappear. Viruses? Oh, that was cool. I just the version of that. Viri. Virulent people things? Yes. But yeah, they, how they disappear when you clear all of their color. One ribbon. God, it's been a long time since I played this game. Yeah. It's still just as fun as I remember. I highly recommend this game to anybody. Because... It's, it's simple, yet... It's very, addicting. Very... Yeah. Level 22! Onward. What a... Keep just packing the pills down. This is always the, the part that can get you. Yep. Of just right at the beginning. Like, if you get through this part, you should be fine. Yeah, unless you fuck up major. Yeah. Chaining it. That's what I to just drop it on the side there. Come on! Really? I don't need any more red yellows. That's what you get! More and more and more! Ooh, that was a close one. Yeah, just for arcade games, I, I played a lot. That was, that was really a gaming fiend when I was younger, and I remember bits and pieces of it. Like, as I play games, it comes back to me. I... I have always been very much into video games. I can't even be like, well, I wasn't that big. No, I was pretty much addicted to video games my entire life, so. And that's not to say, I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm not a superstar at any game. I'm not going to pretend like I'm the, oh, I could set world records and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not that guy. I, I can play well at games. That's what I've always considered, like, sports 
of the same wave where you just... I don't ever expect to be good, and actually I don't want to be good. Like, I don't want that sort of pressure. I want to have just fun with it and just spend the time I can enjoy myself. And if I'm good, great, but there's a point where it'd be like, I don't want to be that good. Like, even with games, it's like, I don't want to be able to... Well, I shouldn't say I don't want to be able to do it, but I don't, don't want to just have them be super easy because that just takes some fun, too. Right. I can agree with that. You want some level of challenge, but you don't want to be off. I don't want to have to be creating a level of challenge, either. Yeah. That's what I... I mean, people say the games are easy now, and, you know, there's some validity, validity to that. Oh, yeah, I would agree. But I... There was a time frame where I appreciated that they made it... Like, they they had the challenge there, but you didn't have to be that good to finish it. Like, you can amp up the difficulty or, like, have collectibles or things like that. There are some games I would take the time to go through and get the collectibles, but others are just... I, I have a tendency when I finish the main storyline of the game to never play it again. Ah. Uh... I have a tendency to not want to finish the main storyline of the game until I've collected all the collectibles. Yeah. That's my problem. I find a balance then too, but like, when I played... A little bit of Pokemon Syndrome. <laughs> yeah. When I played, like, Skyrim, I was like, I'm gonna finish all these side quests. Because side quests are fun, don't get me wrong, I enjoy them. And like, those side things, when you games, you want to have that experience, but at the same time, it's like, you want to have to go say, you finish it, you want to actually see the main story finish it. And I have a tendency to say or get to a point that like something else comes out or I start doing something different and like I, I want to finish this okay and then I forget about it and don't come back to it even though I I like all the side stories like I see things later in life pertaining to it. I think part of it is it's it's about time factors too. Yeah. Uh, adult life does catch you pretty quickly, and all of a sudden you have real-world things going on. You can't just play video games for ten hours a day. That is very true. There are a lot of games I want to play. Like, my Steam library will tell you that. <laughs> I have so many that I was like, hey, that looks neat. I want to play this. I'll be able to play this. And, no. Like, I get some time for it. Some games I will actually finish through, but most of them are very quick games. Like, the long-term games, I just don't play anymore. I shouldn't say that. Just... But also, some of the games that I like now are the ones you can pick up and play for, say, 10 minutes at a time, and then just do something else. I agree there's some value in that. Which, that's why I've enjoyed the Switch so much, is because I can... I don't have to commit a long time frame to play it. And yep. also, I can pause it and let it sit for a while, and then come back to it, or bring it with me wherever I'm going. Not that I go many places where I bring it, but... The option is there. Oh, I botched that. <sighs> Have some colorful words about that. Hey, <laughs> uh, put a red one down there. It'll be set. Red one's down there. Yeah. Yeah. You figured out what I was doing, Mark. <laughs> Not that it was that difficult to figure out, but... Well, also with me, is like I, I tend to notice things that other people don't, but not normally. Like, I mean, I'm not observant in any way, don't get me wrong. I just have... I, some things will pop out at me. Other things I'll just completely be oblivious to. <sighs> but that goes the most fast in life. If you know me, you know I'm not very observant. I have a tendency to just miss very obvious things. But I feel that helps with making me a very happy person. Because I'm just so oblivious and foolish. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. Beyond all other things. I've always been 100% behind the... If you're happy in life, who the fuck cares about the rest of the bullshit? Yep. I remember long ago when I was at work that uh, I was cleaning the lobby and I did something that made, I, I thought of a joke and the guy that was next to me was like, you know, I see you out here smiling. You, you look like you're you're just enjoying it. Those people in there, because there was a meeting going on, was like, they look just, just angry at each other. <laughs> or no, he didn't say angry. He's like, they look just, just so 
serious. Yeah, they probably are. Well, glad I'm not like that. And glad that there's zero shits given. <laughs> yep. But yeah, just mindset helps a lot. Just yeah. knowing that. That's why games are fun. You can just you can sit, sit back and unwind for a little while. Just kind of totally check out. Yeah. Or you can. Okay, have the, the violence of video games debate constantly, but I always thought that, that you can do things in games that you wouldn't do in real life. Like, I know that there's some people, there's always going to be crazy people and psychopaths who will use that as a, or like not be able to distinguish between the two. However, I can tell, like, if I go out and do something super violent in the game, I'm not going to do it in real life, I know better. I'm not going to go feeding pills to people just because I see it in here. Probably. <laughs> most likely. It's most likely not going to happen. Yeah. It just... That's another thing, too, is just how different the games are now. Nice. Oh! Alright, level pause, 23. Pause here. Alright. Start another episode. Uh. Okay. Alright. what happens. We'll come back, and we'll see if I can beat the rest of these levels. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this. It's kind of different, but we're having fun, so. We're doctoring things up. Eh. And uh, as we always have been saying now, please, please, please subscribe if you're enjoying us so that we can continue our push to 100 subs. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.